Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little haul of all of the things which I've picked up for my second year of university. I'm not going to lie, I feel like last year I had so much more stuff and that's obviously because it was my first time going to university. Last year, I actually was catered, so I didn't buy any kitchen stuff. Obviously, next year as I'm moving into a little house, I am going to have a kitchen and I'm going to have to cook for myself which I'm not gonna lie I'm actually quite excited for but obviously because I didn't buy any kitchen stuff last year I had to buy everything I needed this year so this year's haul is mostly kitchen bits but I also have a couple bits for my bedroom as well I have got a couple video clips from when I went shopping which I will insert here for you guys we went to Ikea and Dunelm and I also have a couple parcels to show you guys in this video start off this little haul with the things which I picked up from Dunelm because I feel like I might have got the most stuff from there. If you watched last year's haul you will know that I got new bedding, new duvet, new pillows, new everything because obviously you do need that to go to university. I've come home from uni and that stuff is now all on this bed so this is actually a double duvet and honestly it is revolutionary. I also have all four pillows on my bed and it's just so comfy and I wanted to leave all of that stuff on my bed at home because I felt like last year when I came home everything in my room was so empty and uncomfy. Long story short I have bought myself brand new bedding and pillows and everything. I tried to get exactly the same stuff as on my bed right here and I think I have. First of all I got two thick pillows. These are just from Dorma. I think they're medium according to the sticker anyway. That was not enough. So I also picked up just another two pack of these pillows. These were much cheaper, just eight pounds. These are much like thinner and softer. What I like to do is put one of those softer pillows like on each side and then one of the more full pillows on top. And it's just perfect. And I feel like four pillows for a double bed is a good amount of pillows. I also bought myself a new duvet. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one from last year's haul. It is 13.5 tog, so it's pretty thick, which I really, really like. I like my duvets to be like warm and cozy so I can like get all like snuggled up in them. Obviously, one set of my bedding is now on this bed, so I had to get brand new bedding as well. First of all, I just got two packs of white pillowcases. I'm pretty sure this is like Dunelm's cheapest range, to be honest. From the same range i also just got a double duvet cup also on like pinterest and just people's videos on tiktok and stuff i have seen like a lot of the like two-tone bedding where you have like the bottom level of pillows and your sheet a different color to your duvet cover and the top two pillows and i kind of wanted to try that out the pillows and the throws that i have on my bed when i was at uni were blue and so i actually picked up just some blue or navy pillowcases and also just like a navy fitted sheet i'm gonna try that out when I'm at uni these were only seven pounds together and hopefully it looks good I also got a couple kitchen bits from Dunelm first of all I got two more tea towels I'm pretty sure these are the ones which I bought last year or if not these were very similar these were 175 a piece I have seen on TikTok and stuff people just say that when you have your own kitchen you need like a lot of tea towels like everyone just uses everyone's tea towels which obviously is understandable so I just bought two more because I think I've already got a couple I also got these oven gloves these are the ones that like connect they're not just like separate mittens these were just five pounds they're just gray and spotty i wasn't really bothered about the design to be honest i just didn't obviously want to burn myself when taking stuff out of the oven and then i got this glass measuring jug it has all the little measurements on this side it has a liter of capacity this is going to come in pretty handy i feel like i actually do quite a lot of cooking and there's a lot of things where you need like stock and like kettle water and so yeah just something like this is perfect and then i also picked up this massive glass bowl this is actually quite heavy but this was only three pounds fifty and i just thought this bowl is so big that it's perfect for anything instead of me buying like a bunch of different size bowls last but not least from Dunham, it's actually so sad how excited i am about this i got 
a clothes drying rack. Last year I had some of these racks that sort of like clipped onto doors or like over my radiator and they were just so weak and a lot of the bars like snapped off. They didn't really fit all my clothes on anyway. They weren't the best. One of these is going to come in so handy. It's obviously much bigger, lots of different levels if you can see. That is everything I got from Danelle. Next I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from ikea ikea is usually such a fun shop to go in but this time it was packed and i didn't even see that many uni students first up i got this bin this is just like a wire mesh bin very basic the main event from ikea was the pans that we bought i did not realize how expensive pans are so we ended up getting this set because i actually thought like this was probably like the best deal in ikea i think it was 59 pounds for this little set i haven't properly looked at these pans i'm gonna open it and see what's inside so I believe there's three different size pans. This is the smallest size. They're all really nice and black. And they've got like the bottom bit, which is good for conducting. And I think they're all non-stick. This is the next size up. This is like perfect for pasta. And then this is the final size. This is like a really big pot. And this is going to be great for like batch cooking meals, I think. This one has like two side handles, which this one has this is the middle size. They're just not attached. And the mini pan also has a little handle i think it's like underneath the frying pan and then this is the frying pan again it does have a handle which attaches it's just at the bottom of the box last but not least i have two lids this one has like a built-in colander which is incredible i didn't realize that these do have like handles which attach they are also just separate down here somewhere i actually think this is quite a good set and for 59 pounds for four pans two lids and obviously handles it's not bad now i've got to sort out all this mess and put all this set back together pretty much everything else i bought in ikea is kitchen bits so i'll just like run through really quickly i got three of these like heat mats i also picked up some sandwich bags or like freezer bags i kind of mentioned earlier with the big pot that i really want to meal prep some of the things that we cook at home anyway like especially chili we always tend to make like bigger portions and put it in the freezer and then like defrost it so i'm kind of used to doing that anyway and i definitely want to do that at uni especially when I'm just cooking for one. Getting the portion sizes like correct is gonna take a while. I got a spatula which is covered in bits from the doormat that my mum got. Obviously all of this stuff will be washed anyway though so it's not a major issue but I just got a spatula. This was only a pound. I just felt like this could come in handy. I picked up two wooden spoons. I just thought I needed two because if I ever cook pasta and sauce I need one from the pasta one for my sauce. These were one pound each, I think, maybe. I picked up this four pack of knives. These were five pounds, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And they're not too big, but they're also not too small. We do sort of have like bigger knives at home, which I usually cook with, but I think for going to uni, this is probably all I need. I don't want to take like a massive like kitchen knife with me, you know. I then got a peeler. I think this was only like a pound or something. I picked up just one of these baking trays. We weren't really sure whether to get like one or two baking trays are actually more money than i thought they were this was like seven or eight quid so we just got one to start with i also picked up from ikea another one of these big storage bags i thought this would be really good to sort of just go under my bed last but not least from ikea i picked up two plant pots this one which is just like a very basic white one i think this was only a pound and i got this like wicker one this one's definitely not robust enough to be just like a plant pot there's lots of little holes in it and stuff so i thought these could go together or i can just use this one on its own this is to repot a plant that my boyfriend got me this is the plant this plant pot was actually in my haul last year i think this was from cherries it was in like a gifted box that they sent me as you can see this plant pot is just a little bit bigger so i need to repot this one into here that is not a job for right now last but not least i have two parcels to open this is the first one it's from amazon I basically just ordered from Amazon like the cheapest set of scales that they had. I think these were like $6.99 or something. Some ingredients need weighing. I wasn't really sure if anyone else would think to buy scales, so I did. Didn't know they were going to be blue. And the final thing I ordered was from M&S. I do remember what this is because I'm so excited. 
So basically you just picked up like a dark grey bath sheet or bath towel. Oh my god, it's so soft. I currently have like a pale grey one. I just wanted like a dark towel as well. I needed two because I found that last year when I was like washing my clothes and then drying them, if I wanted to have a shower, I couldn't because my towel was wet. I just picked up another towel so I have two. One's light and one's dark so that they can go in like alternating washing loads. I really thought about this. But yeah, this is my bath towel. It's so soft. It could literally be a blanket. That is everything which I've picked up this year so far for my second year of uni. If you feel like I've forgotten anything for my kitchen, please do let me know. I don't want to go unprepared for having to cook for myself. Okay, I'm going to get some more decor bits and that kind of thing. I just want to move into my room first. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!